News Chief Meteorologist Roger Griswold, giving you Maine's total weather and your exclusive eight day forecast. Pictures coming out of Auburn this evening. Snow coming down, you know, just not a lot of it. Plows are out, taking care of the roads, but uh, just haven't really gotten into the heavy bursts of snow uh, just yet. That's likely to change, though, as the overnight hours progress. You can see why on the radar tonight. Uh, in and around the mid coast, just off the coast, you can pick up here how the radar is beginning to fill in. There you go. In the last few pictures, there, all of a sudden, they're sort of white appearing. And that is snow off the coast as this moisture continues to pivot northward. Now, the darker shades are the heavy snow just out over Casco Bay, clipping the city of Portland, uh, Scarborough, Cape Elizabeth, down through the beaches of York County. Moderate to heavy snow continuing to pivot in. And of course, York County has seen several inches of snow right along the turnpike all the way down into uh, northeastern Massachusetts. Another area, heavy snow north of Boston here. All of this pivoting northward. And then sort of a lull here. You'd think the storm was over, but the storm itself is still farther to the south. Just now getting its act together. And as this comes northward, we're going to pick up a different type of mechanism developing the snow. And we do expect it to continue through the overnight and during the day tomorrow. So the snow impact here it tends to worsen during the overnight. I mean, we've been having bouts of moderate snow, and we always knew that the heaviest snow would be closer to the coastline. Now, the farther inland you go, uh, less of an impact by the snow and by the wind as well. But tomorrow, the wind is going to be a much bigger factor. Here are some of your wind speeds as of 10 o'clock, and they're starting to tick upward as well. Nothing wild and crazy here, but we're still running about 15 miles per hour, gusting to 20 in Rockland. So, folks through the mid coast starting to deal with some of that blowing snow. And across much of the area, we're going to continue to see that wind ramp up uh, during the overnight. Peak wind, though, is a little bit later than peak snow. That's 9 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then, even after the snow comes to an end, that moderate wind speed is likely to continue tomorrow night. That's going to lead to the blowing and drifting. So the center of circulation south of New England right now, we've been watching it come across Pennsylvania. And now it's just to the point, and notice all this moisture here. Rapid development now underway. And as that occurs, we're going to see the wind continue to pick up. And we're still looking at wind up over 40 miles per hour, gusts approaching 50 miles per hour uh, during the day tomorrow. And as bands of snow then wrapping around. But again, notice how inland areas, you're farther away from it. So you're going to see much lesser amounts of snow. The storm system continues to strengthen. And tomorrow afternoon, even when the snow has come to an end, the wind is still blowing it around and leading to drifting. Snowfall amounts, and we're taking a close look at these numbers because it's such a complicated storm system. Still thinking around a foot of snow, especially uh, Portland down through York County. And with those additional bands rotating in, the mid coast picks up uh, some heavy amounts during the day tomorrow. Meanwhile, farther inland, uh, you're probably going to end up on the lower side here, five to as much as 10 inches as you work your way up toward uh, Rumford and the Bethel area as well. Eight day forecast tomorrow, a stormy day. The wind continues on Monday and bitter cold temperatures as well. Highs uh, only in the teens, dropping below zero at night. A chance for more snow, but definitely not as big of a storm here. Uh, middle part of next week. Still days away. Glad we'll deal to with see this storm first.